was quite the detour for a plane full of people, but they are so close to getting where they were originally wanting to go. What a journey they have been on. Let's take a live look out now at the tarmac at SFO tonight. The Air India flight is scheduled to land just past midnight tonight, and they will have a whole bunch of loved ones there waiting for them. ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns is live there at SFO now hearing some of those family members emotions. Hi, Tim. Hi, Dan Ama. That's absolutely right. A sense of relief. That's the best way I can describe the mood of several of those Bay Area families who are anxiously awaiting their loved ones to touch down here at SFO. Many of them telling me they just want this long journey to finally be over. The Bay Area arrival that for some families seems like it's been an eternity in the making. On Tuesday, an Air India flight took off from Delhi and was scheduled to land the same day at SFO. But after experiencing engine problems, it had to make an emergency landing in eastern Russia. The plane was supposed to arrive at 8 a.m. and then 4 o'clock I get this message on my phone from my dad saying, um, our plane is going to land in Magadan. So I'm like, I've never heard of the place. I talked with Samita and her husband Raj Wednesday night. Bay Area locals tell me Samita's parents were on that flight. They're now on the replacement set to touch down in the Bay Area early Thursday morning. Samita says given the current tensions between the U.S. and Russia, she was worried about what might happen to those on board. You know, that no fly zone, I do not know the exact thing. That was the only thing that was worrying us that how do we reach if there's an emergency? Will the plane be allowed to fly from there to the U.S.? These are my fellow passengers. Passengers, though, have said they've been treated well by both Air India and Russian authorities. ABC 7 News talked to one of those passengers before their departure from Russia. She showed us the school where she and her fellow travelers had spent the evening. Uh, they have cooked food for 200 people for three times in a day. So we're good. We got coffee. We got warm milk. We got eggs and all. So... Everybody is safe. Back here in California, Sumita believes the experience has created a bond between most of the travelers. She says many of them are chipping in to help one another and ensure everyone has what they need. My mom, she always says when you're sad or feeling down, listen to music. So she was singing an Indian song and every, all the passengers were listening to her. And when the moment of being reunited finally comes, Sumita believes this time it'll be especially sweet. Usually I never get a welcome balloon, <laughs> but I'm thinking this time I will. And guys, that plane is scheduled to land here at SFO around 12.15 a.m. I'm live in San Francisco tonight, Tim Johns, ABC 7 News. <laughs>